nice out there. Just went for a run this morning. Temperature is pretty much perfect for it. Not hot at all, but not too chilly either. We had a couple rain showers still skirting through our southern counties, southern Cumberland County, and then Sampson County. But all that activity moving straight from west to east, leaving most of us dry with varying amounts of cloud cover overhead. But the clouds are going to get pushed farther and farther to the east as we head through the rest of the day. And we're going to see plenty of sunshine for the rest of today and for the next couple of days. Looking back six hours from Carter Finley Stadium, you can see that we started off with a lot of cloud cover even over the triangle, but then those clouds have been thinning out and even dispersing. Plenty of blue sky overhead with a few fair weather clouds. The current view right now looks pretty good. 63 degrees, the temperature at the stadium. Officially in the triangle, we're a couple degrees below that. We'll top out right at about 63 degrees which is exactly normal for the 20th day of November. Goldsboro, you've got a little more cloud cover still lingering overhead. 62 degrees, the temperature there. Looking out from Sanford, and there we go. Plenty of sunshine with temperature also up to 63 degrees after you were one of the cool spots this morning in the low 40s. Other readings, upper 50s at worst right now. 58 degrees in Henderson, 59 degrees in Roxboro. Don't get used to the mild temperatures. This is the warmest day that we're going to experience for a while. Temperatures are going to be dropping down well below average as we head through the rest of the week. Dry weather should be pleasant for Thanksgiving, just definitely on the chilly side as we head towards the holiday. 62 degrees in Fayetteville, 64 of the warm spots in Pinehurst and in Rayford. We'll top out at 63 in the triangle. We'll start dropping even before the sun goes down with the cloud cover dispersing. We think we'd warm up even more, but northwesterly winds are going to kick in, start to bring our temperatures down as we head into the evening and overnight already down to about 40 degrees by midnight and we'll end up near freezing by early tomorrow morning. If you're getting up and about early on Wednesday, you may have to spend a little bit of quality time with your ice scraper if you park outdoors. In terms of Thanksgiving travel forecast, tomorrow things are looking pretty good for the travel hubs up and down the east coast. The whole eastern half of the country, we're talking 10 to 20 percent precipitation chances and temperatures, well, it depends on where you're going. 35 degrees in Chicago isn't great. 82 degrees in Miami sounds pretty nice to me. In terms of flight delays, the only problem today is around Boston, but for tomorrow, it looks like that system should be out of the way for those major travel hubs in the eastern half of the country. If you're heading farther inland, away from the coast, in New England, that's where you could have some winter weather problems. If you're going to be flying into, say, Boston or New York and then driving farther up into upstate New York or farther into New England, that's where there's going to be some winter weather problems. And same thing for the lake effect snow belts downwind of the Great Lakes. It is that time of year, lake effect season. Locally, no problems other than just the cool temperatures. It's going to be chilly to start the day Thanksgiving. Temperatures will be up into the mid 40s by noon. By the time you're settling in for your tryptophan induced nap, temperatures will be in the upper 40s. About a dozen degrees below average for the Thanksgiving holiday. The one challenging day in the four-day weekend is going to be Saturday when we're looking at the potential for more than an inch of rain area-wide. Some spots, maybe including the triangle, could pick up close to two inches of rain, which brings in the possibility of some localized flooding if that rain falls in a short enough period of time. It's a big if, so we'll keep an eye on that potential as we head through the rest of the week, but no rain chances in the forecast for the rest of this calendar week. Then over the weekend, that good chance of rain on Saturday should be mostly out of the way on Sunday with another chance of rain to start off the next work week as everybody heads back after the four day weekend.